out of Eastvale, California, played high school ball with Alan Boswell. For the Wildcats, Philip Borvichinen will make his first appearance. I tell you, Philip, guys, you probably saw him, uh, saw his stats. If you didn't see any video, he had a great summer. He really did. Played for the Serbian under-19 team and averaged 14 points a game. You know, he's just a player who's been resilient. He's, he stayed positive last year when he wasn't playing. And, and we're seeing the outcome now where he's in the mix for maybe some rotation minutes. Martinez, spin move in the lane. Kick it out to Lewis. KJ left to the paint there. No shot. Out to Martinez. Eight to shoot now. Anderson, or to uh, Visa, I should say, underneath. Driving for the bucket. Martinez misses. Warriors with the rebound the other way. And that's Jones. will take it down. Stop right side. Matched up on Borovicinen. Goes inside. Shot is up. Off the rim, no good by Anthony Peoples. Arizona with the rebound. So the Wildcats will catch up to date on the moment. Willis Moroskis in for Arizona. Lewis with a three. That's no good. Borovicinen to the offensive rebound. He'll turn and shoot and score. Borovicin and last year, Brian, was a gym rat. After every game, even if he didn't play, he and Kylan Boswell came out and got shots up. I'm hopeful that that practice, that repetition, will show up in games because his shot looks exceptionally pure. 16-12, Arizona with the lead. Lewis Clark State with the basketball. Right of the lane, turn around, Peoples can't shoot. Kick it out high, Rayner. A deep three, logo three, missed no good. Long rebound, chased down by Peoples. Back out, three ball up and good by Javon Jones. Not to get nitpicky here, but that's the second offensive rebound. Kick out to a three. You better clean that up as the season goes on. 16-15 Arizona. Lewis out top of the circle. Off it goes for Marauskas, and he misses. And rebound off to... Lewis Clark State, so Warriors with the ball the other way. Around a high screen goes Jones. Jumper up, missed no good. And the rebound snagged by Lewis. KJ, bounce pass ahead. Stolen by Stockton. And now comes Lewis Clark State back the other way. Stockton drives left. Kick it to Rayner, a three. Back of the iron, no good. Long rebound. There's another offensive set. They get it in the lane to Peoples. His shot is up and good. Yeah, and once again, it's the second shot. You have to secure it. Long rebounds versus long shots. Arizona needs to do a better job here. Warriors take the lead, 17-16. Borvichin for three, missed back of the rim, no good. Vistar trying to keep it alive, has it knocked out of bounds, so it'll be Arizona ball with 19 to shoot after this timeout. 11-13 to go first half here at McHale Center. Exhibition game but one, Arizona. And then Arizona got a, a free throw. Uh, so I always like to ask you guys, why no shot selection? What have you seen early on from the Wildcats? A lot of early shots, a lot of contested shots. And Tommy doesn't mind early offense. In fact, he prefers early offense, but I don't think Arizona's fast break or secondary break has really yielded the wide open looks that they typically do. So these are contested threes in my mind. All right, Wildcats will end up just two assists so far for Arizona on seven made field goals. You know the story of that. Arizona with the ball. K.J. Lewis, right corner, Borvichin in. Inside, Johnson posted up there into the paint. Turn around and shot up and rolls in for Keyshawn Johnson. Yeah, it's great to have a guy like Keyshawn Johnson. When things aren't going well, you can insert him into the game, get him the ball on the block, and he can set everybody down with a nice post move. Warriors the other way. Wildcats regain the lead, 18-17. And out between the rings, that's Javon Jones trying to drive on Johnson. Can't get around him. Beat it left side. Three ball from Brown is good. I think when I go back and look at that tape, Phillip, they are not trailing a three-point shooter going to the gap and getting caught, leaving a wide open Lewis and Clark player. 2018, favor the Warriors. He shot Johnson with the ball for the Wildcats, right of the lane, looking to post up, backing his way down. A little spin move inside, layup no good, but he's fouled, and he'll get to the line. Foul will go on Lorenzo Marsh. First nine minutes of action, Arizona really unable to establish a post game. And that's unique for Tommy. He's all about the high low, wants to stick it inside as much as possible, but no surprise there to a certain degree. Without Balo, without Crevis, a little bit different for the Wildcats. You could tell coming out of that timeout, Brian, that Tommy wanted to get some high percentage looks, two possessions in a row. Let's go right down to key shot in the low block. Let's establish a little bit of presence down there and get a higher percentage look. You mentioned it, Reg, to go to an experienced player like Keyshot in some of these moments, that may prove valuable for us over the course of the season. Johnson makes the free throw. 
20 to 20. And Warriors with the ball the other way. Left wing, Borbich and in tough defense on Jones. Swung it around the horn. Marsh, they get it inside, posted up down low is Hunt. Turn around with the left hand and scoops it in. Nice move by Mason Hunt. 22 20. Favor of Lewis Clark State. Johnson will go inside. There's the high low, but we got a whistle and a foul. Oh, that's going to go on Arizona. Three seconds as Dylan Anderson got planted in there too long. Got the pass, so the play looked good, but the uh, turnover will wipe it out. So Warriors will go the other way. Quentin Rayner is out of Vancouver, Washington. And he'll take it down around a high screen, pull up for three, high up the rim, no good. And there's Keisha Johnson with the rebound for the Wildcats. Ahead it goes to Jaden Bradley, leave it for Johnson, throw it inside. Anderson in the paint, jump hook up, off, no good. And the rebound snagged by Marsh. And here go the Warriors on the run the other way. Maybe on Brown, stopped out top, gets it inside. Hunt turn around with that left hand again. That's two in a row from Grayson Hunt. One thing you have to say about Lewis and Clark State is they take their time offensively, they work their offense, and look for good percentage looks. Four-point lead for the Warriors. K.J. Lewis, left elbow inside to Anderson. Another little jump hook. This one's good. Five possessions in a row, five post touches. They haven't all yielded points, but there has definitely been a focal point to establish that inside presence. Dylan Anderson, he took a, a knee to the thigh on that shot. Here's a steal by Keyshawn Johnson. He'll drive the length of the court and slam it home. Big time highlight play there by Keyshawn Johnson and a steal by Jaden. Once again, a, a dunk like that excites your team, excites your crowd, results in uh, okay. Jaden there. So Jaden Bradley of Lewis Clark wears number 21. In practice, Arizona's Jaden Bradley wears number 21. Number zero tonight, which he will be for the season. Here's Johnson all the way to the rack and lays it in. Nice move. Something at San Diego State that I know he wanted to do more of. Handle the ball, create some offense, shows his versatility, and I think his numbers will be better here at Arizona. 35-31, Wildcats. Maybe I'm Brown with the ball. Step back three for the Warriors. Front of the rim, no good. Rebound bounced around and grabbed by Vsar for the Wildcats. Outlet. Keisha Johnson, ahead it goes to Caleb Love. A little head fake all the way to the bucket and lay it in. And that's the one thing Caleb Love brings to this Arizona team. Experience, but that it factor, that ability to throw a big number out there. Once again, a hard left-hand drive and finish. Great to see. 37-31 Wildcats. Peoples into the lane. Turnaround jumper is up and good for Anthony Peoples. Sophomore. Average four points last year. They expect a lot more from him this season. 37-33 Arizona, Keisha Johnson for three straight away. Not a high percentage three-point shooter over his career. He's working on it. Definitely here in the offseason, we saw in the foreign tour him knock a number of them down. That looked pure. Made 11 of 42 last year, and that was not considered his specialty. But, yeah, like you said, Rana, working on some of those offensive things that he couldn't do last year at San Diego State. All right, Warriors with the ball. Morris, another step back three is good. Yeah, beautiful move, move there by Morris. Little step back once in. Gets Vasar out on the perimeter, able to get a little separation. If Arizona's going to play a switching style defense, which I think we'll see this year, those big fellas are really going to have to move their feet. Who's Clark now? Six of 14 three-point shooting here in the first half. Clay, Caleb Love looking to answer. Rims out no good. And the rebound snagged down on the baseline by Davion Brown. For Lewis Clark State, he'll drive it all the way into the paint, lay it up, too strong, no good over the rim, grabbed by Boswell the other way. Allen wants to push the break. Boswell quickly down, gets around, oh, did a nice move getting around Davion Brown, and then the foul's going to be called on Grayson Hunt. The line, after the timeout, 322 showing in the first half, and the first one from Boswell is good, and he'll earn the bonus. And for Boswell now with four points, five rebounds. Wildcats led by Keisha Johnson, he's got 13 points so far. And uh, Boswell, believe it or not, well, believe it. He's got five rebounds to lead Arizona. Puts in the second free throw. Macari Morris topping Lewis Clark State with eight points right now. And the Warriors with the ball. Stockton out top, guarded by Caleb Love. Bounce down right side, quick turnaround by Rayner. Is high off the rim. Took a couple of bounces, came up no good. Visar the rebound, feed it head to Boswell. Quickly down, Visar trailing, will take it off to Love. Love drives into the lane, lob it for Vizar, who puts it in. Excellent play there by Love, coming off that pick and roll, play, getting that ball above the river, Vizar, Vizar struggling early, need to see one go down, gets a nice layup there. 44-36 Arizona, Stockton out high with the ball, hounded by K.J. Lewis, Stockton 
Fumble the ball, drives left of the lane, stops there. Top it goes to Bradley. Needs some help now. Left corner. No shot falling down. The ball is loose, picked up by Borvichin. Wildcats with a three on one. Phillip to the bucket, lay it up. Good, and he's fouled. We're going to see a point of emphasis this year, fellas. Not as many charges are going to take place because the rule has changed. The defender has to be in position when the offensive player's plant foot hits the ground. They better be there. And that's a situation where I think last year, that's a charge. This year, it's a block. Philip Borvichin and will go to the free throw line with 2.32 to go here in the first half. And he will shoot one looking for the three-point play. Free throw bounces and goes. And for the Wildcats, we'll see the return of Paulus Marauskas, one of the freshmen from Lithuania. Montivas Kravitz not playing tonight because of uh, injury. Jaden Bradley with the ball for the Warriors. Feet ahead to Stockton. Smothered defensively by Boswell. Stockton now waiting for a screen. Long, nearly double team. Drives right underneath on Lewis. Goes left corner Bradley. Pump fake. Puts up the three. No good. And Borvichin in the rebound for the Wildcats. Phillip on the run the other way. Quickly down. Feed it over to Lewis. Lewis got around the defense and laid it in. KJ Lewis. Not your typical freshman in terms of body and stature. Uses his shoulders there with his right hand drive and easy finish. 49-36 Arizona. Biggest lead for the Wildcats. And their defense has picked up some steam here. There's Javon Jones with the ball. Leave it off for Bradley into Stockton. Stockton got loose into the lane. Little jumper up. Missed back of the rim. No good. Rebound battled for. K.J. Lewis comes down with it for Arizona. Wildcats push it the other way. Lewis leave it off for Borovicinen. Off to Boswell, out to the top of the key, fires a three, and that is good. Defend him in ball screen action, because he can do it at all three levels. Warriors call the timeout. They've got the ball on the inbound now. And it goes to Javon Jones, guarded by Borvichin. Jones trying to get around him. Drives, falls down. They're going to call a trip on Arizona. Very good de team defense there. Once again, we saw Arizona switching where we have a big on a small, but it was a better job of support there. Uh, Paulus does an excellent job as a health defender. Got called for the foul there, but when they go back and look at the tape, I think Tommy would be, ha would be happy with the position. Mrauskas the foul for the Wildcats. Warriors will inbound. The inbound almost stolen by K.J. Lewis, and then a late whistle, and he'll be called for a foul. With one away to go in the first half. Last year and the year before, Tommy was all about taking the fight to the opponent when you have the basketball. This year, he wants to do it on both ends. He's talked in the shoot-around today about being more aggressive, taking the fight defensively to your opponent. We haven't seen it a lot in this first half. Last couple of possessions, they've cranked it up. All right, Rayner with the ball in the inbound for Lewis Clark State. Beat out a high for Jones. Jones drives down near the right baseline, smothered defensively there by Love. His outlet stolen away by Lewis. There goes KJ on the run. Nice move around Rayner. Lays it up. No, he's fouled. He'll go to the line. Beautiful play there by the young fella. Defense to offense, but I'm just so excited. It's early on, I know, but defensively, the potential this team has to really create havoc, to get in passing lanes, to put pressure on the basketball um, with their small lineup, you know, with their, their hybrid lineup, when they have a couple smalls and two seven-footers, they really can do some fun things defensively, which I'm excited about. When K.J. Seven. Lewis, Brian, just physically, he's different, but he's mentally different as a freshman. He commits to the defensive side. Seven steals here in the first half for the Wildcats. First free throw by Lewis is good. Yeah, if you didn't know... And I showed you a picture of K.J. Lewis. Would you tell me that he's an 18-year-old freshman? Uh, he looks like a man. Yes, uh, he does. Just physically. And, again, I love the mentality that he brings. He takes pride on the defensive end. I don't want to start likening him to some other former Arizona Wildcats, but Andre Gadala, Richard Jefferson style body with mm -hmm. the defensive tactics and physicality and tools, it's early. Yeah. Let's not get carried away. Yeah. Lewis makes both free throws there. By the way, Andre announcing his retirement from the NBA after 19 seasons. Goes down as one of the great defenders of all time, and yeah, he could score too. Here's Stockton into the lane, feet underneath, and the slam dunk is missed. Was he hanging on the rim, or are they going to call? Goaltending goal on the offensive on, team there. Yeah. Anthony Peoples tried to slam it home and kind of hung on the rim. The ball spun around and came out. So. Go back to the tape, though, after this game. Tommy's not going to be happy about that one. That was poor defense on the on-ball screen. 
54-36 Arizona. Lewis bounce it to Orvichinin. Posted up right of the lane into the paint. Pump fake left. Turns right. Backs his way in. He traveled. That's how he backed his way in. And so turnover Arizona. Give the ball back to Lewis Clark State with 20 seconds left here in the first half. Arizona after, I don't want to call it a seesaw game, but here in the last eight minutes now has increased its lead up to 18. Morris across midcourt with the ball for Lewis Clark State. We'll hand it off to Jones. Double high screen. Jones feed it to Bradley. Turns on board Beach and then puts his shoulder in him. Lost control. Steal by Love. Poppy three at the buzzer. It's good. Caleb Love drains a three as the horn goes off. And the Wildcats will lead by 21 at the break. Another steal. only are they forcing turnovers, it's really the big dangerous kind, those live ball that can be quick points. Well, kids averaged six steals a game last season, about middle of the Pac-12. And, uh, yeah, if, if they would average, and we're not done yet, I mean, 13 right now. And, again, they're going to face stiffer competition, but just the same. You know, they're showing some quickness tonight. So Lewis Clark will inbound it. Right side, that's Damian Brown. Stops free throw line. Kick it up. Rayner, guarded by Martinez. Bounce inside to Hunt. In the lane. Pump fake. Tries to go around. Vizar missed the shot. No good. Henry with the rebound. And Arizona back the other way. Feet ahead for Lewis. Nice crossover there. Leave it out top. Rauskas will drive inside. His shot is, are they going to count it? Yep. Off balance. It went in. He got fouled. That's why he was off balance. And he'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, beautiful play there by Paulus. The, the young fella has excellent size, about 6'7", six, 6'8", six, at the forward position. Offensively, always looks to be aggressive there. Able to get the left-hand drive, get a little contact with a little kiss. In the European leagues, he's a four-man. In Arizona, Coach Lloyd's trying to transition him more to a three-man, more on the perimeter. So we may see a slower developing Moraskis than what maybe you might expect because of that positional change. He looked good on the perimeter there, taking it to the rim. All right, free throws. Good 78-46 Arizona. Warriors with the ball the other way. Brown feed it to Hunt. Down right corner. There's Morris. Through the lane, quick turnaround shot, missed, no good. Long rebound snagged by Martinez. Conrad will push the break the other day. Martinez bumps into Morris, no foul, out to Borvichinen. And Amrauskis feed it left side, Lewis. Lewis drives the baseline to Visar. It's good, and he's fouled. Beautiful execution of a baseline drive with a big post player relocating to the front of the rim for the little drop-off pass. That's the kind of execution you like to see in an exhibition game going forward. All right, timeout on the floor. To that point, I thought uh, Tommy strategically did on the first nine minutes did a better job of, of having more uh, heavy role players with some guys he wants to take a look at and mingling. Now I think he's going to open it up and let some of the guys get some more minutes. Henry Visar will go to the free throw line. Well, the Wildcats have made 11 of 14 shots here in the second half. And they're shooting 65% for the game as Henry puts in the free throw. And without uh, Umar Ballo tonight, Visar getting extra minutes, Dylan Anderson getting extra minutes, and you know, that can be the plus side of a game like this. Uh, outside competition. Yeah. To show your stuff. Now Warriors with the ball the other way. Morris trapped out top by Orvichin. Leave it for Rayner. Bounce inside. Posted up his people's left of the lane. Trying to work his way on Morauskas. A lot of body contact. Jump hook is up and short. Orvichin in the rebound for the Wildcats. Phillip will push it ahead. Roskis will drive the lane. Pumps. Shot rejected by Peoples. And taken by Morris the other way. He'll hand it off to Rayner. A three. Rims out no good. Borvichin in the rebound, Arizona. And it goes to Martinez. Conrad hesitates. Drives to the bucket and lay it in. Beautiful drive there by Conrad. Once again, that craftiness, that ability to get into the paint. I think when they go back and look at the tape, they're going to see all night he was getting paint touches, making positive plays. 83-46 Arizona, 11 minutes to go here in the second half. Makari Morris will take it down for the Warriors. Out top for Hunt. 
Fake the handoff, tries to slide down left of the lane. Vasar knocks the ball away, and it's saved by Stockton. Bounce inside for Peoples, turns on Morauskas. Now works his way into the paint, and there's Martinez to steal it away. Another steal for the Wildcats. A little bit of an advantage, no look inside Morauskas. Pump fake goes up, and that shot's blocked, but he's fouled. So another steal, and the Wildcats will benefit at the other end of the court. I don't know if people, I don't know if people saw Conrad Martinez in that, in, that, in that little dig position there last. Really nice, nice steal by the young fellow. A lot of different adjectives you could say. Spark plug. He's a crafty. He's got a little moxie to him, but uh, plays kind of quiet. But I love the quickness. You talked about it, Reg, on the offensive end. He is going to put Arizona offensively in some good positions, coming off of ball screens, getting the ball into the painted area. Alice Morauskas to the free throw line, makes the first. Line change here, five in, and five will go out if, uh, if Palace hits his free throw. Game that's put away. Let some of these other guys that have yet to play in an Arizona uniform get minutes. Guy like Borvichinen and Vesar who need extra time against other opponents. They need the time. Henry Vesar didn't get to play all three games on the foreign tour, so he needs this. He's now getting back to full strength and full health, so hopefully you can see him start to round into form. Lorenzo Marsh at the free throw line. Missed, and the rebound off to K.J. Lewis. Lewis down to the top of the key to Vesar out top. One bounce to Martinez, open for three. He'll take it, and it's no good. Had the right line, just a little long. Warriors the other way. Marsh left corner. Throw it out to Jones. Bounce inside. Posted up down there. Back in his way down is Hamilton. No shot. Skip pass over in the right corner, and a whistle. No, he stepped on the sideline, did Macari Morris. Turnover against Lewis Clark State, so it'll be Arizona ball with 6.46 to go. And a couple changes here for the Warriors. We'll see Hunt back in. And also Davian Brown. And Tommy Lloyd uh, pacing in front of us here. Never stops coaching, of course. There's Lewis. KJ on the high screen. Leave it off for Markowskis down the lane in traffic. Shot up, no good. Showed some strength there. And the rebound off to Lustig for Lewis Clark State. Beat it ahead. There's Brown. Back to Lustig. Bounce pass, Hunt. Jumper left baseline is good for two. Grayson Hunt. Well, Grayson Hunt. Athletic families. Mom played volleyball at Washington State. Dad football player to Mexico State. Then the Wildcats throw it away at the other end. Brown quick feet ahead to Lustig, down four court left, back out to Brown. Deep three is up and in. Yeah, and once again off the turnover there, Conrad, just not sure where he's going. One on five there creates a, an opportunity for Lewis and Clark for a good looking three. ID 558 Arizona, love to Borvichin in. Left corner, Rauskas for three, rims out no good. Borvichin the offensive rebound. Out top for Martinez, leave it back for Phillip. And Vesar. Off to K.J. Lewis for three, and that missed everything. So it'll be Warriors ball backcourt here with 5.35 to go. Now, again, learning through playing here, the difference between a good shot and a great shot. Was K.J. open there? Most likely, but th was that the best shot in the possession? These guys are learning that as they go. Brown with the ball. Angle right, double team. Inside, there's Peoples. Missed the lay-in. The rebound tipped out to Hunt. Back top it goes to Morris. New 20 to shoot here for Lewis Clark. Hunt open, doesn't take the three. And leave it off for Brown. He will take it. Missed it no good. Borovicin in the rebound for the Wildcats. Phillip will take it ahead. Quickly down to Lewis, forecourt left. Out to Henry. Over to Borovicin. Phillip top of the key. Step back. Three ball up. Missed too long, no good. Rebound as Morris tips it to himself. He'll run the other way. Left side. Three ball. Air ball by Lustig. And then Lewis the rebound for the Wildcats. So Arizona up 95-58. A lot of fans, they want to stay to see triple digits. And here's Morauskas into the paint. Changes hands. Running shot missed no good. Borovichin had a hand on the rebound. Lost it out. So it'll be Warriors ball backcourt. 4.33 to go here in the second half. And we'll see Alton Hamilton back in. And Hunt will sit down. 
That's great experience for the Warriors as well. And uh, you mentioned they're going to play Gonzaga, another exhibition game coming up, but those uh, do nothing but help them grow when they get into Cascade Conference play. Morris drives around Martinez. His runner rattles in and out no good. The ball tipped back to him. This one off the glass. That rolls up no. And Borovich in the rebound for the Wildcats. Head to Martinez. Bounce pass to Lewis. What a pass. What a dunk. Eyes up for Conrad Martinez. When he caught the basketball, he was looking for somebody. And K.J. Lewis took that diagonal cut right towards the lane. 97-58 Arizona, under four to go in the second half. Lustig driving on Borovicin, and Phillip fouls him. Are these people? Koufax, Mays, and Maris. Koufax, Mays, and Maris for all baseball players. That is correct. You are correct in that regard. They are also the children of head coach Austin Johnson at Lewis Clark State. He named his kids <laughs> Koufax, Mays, and Maris. Do you think he's a baseball fan I, by any I chance? I think he's a baseball fan. might be. Yeah. Reg, I'm giving you the win on that. <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> All right. After the timeout, Lustig hits a free throw. 97-59 Arizona. Final four minutes here at McHale Center. Martinez will take it down off to Horvichinen. A couple of jersey number ones, more, or I should say Lustig guarding him. Martinez trying to get the ball inside of Isar, and it's tipped out by the Warriors. So it'll be Arizona ball, 19 to shoot. 3.43 going here in the second half. Conrad Martinez will inbound. Henry Vesar right of the lane, out to Borovich, and in turn, shoots a three and drains it. Beautiful execution of a baseline of bounds play there. The stagger screen for Phillip coming off to the top of the key as Arizona's one of his best shooters. That's your century mark. 100 points for the Wildcats. 59. Here's a steal by Borovich and drives the other way. Lay it up and good. Once again, Phillip, man on the spot there defensively. And another steal. Lewis takes it away and jams it home. Now the defense tonight has been outstanding. Warriors with the ball. And that's uh, J.C. on Smith, freshman out of Riverside, California, bringing it down. Leave it for Peoples left of the lane, banging into Markowskis. A lot of contact there. And then a whistle and a foul before the shot. And we're 254 to go here in the second half. Uh, by the way, the Diamondbacks won tonight. Beat the Phillies 6-5, scored three runs in the bottom of the eighth. That series all even at 2-2. Former Wildcat Kevin Ginkle got the win. Pitched a one-hit eighth inning. So a brand new series there. Astros won earlier today, and they've got a commanding lead down the Rangers. Nice back-to-back -back sequence there for Philip Borvich. And Coach Lloyd took the confidence and instilled it in Philip in the timeout and said, this is what we're going to do on the baseline out of bounds here. Staggered screens, free you up for a really open look, and then what does he do? He goes and gets a steal. It's amazing sometimes some players need the ball to go in the rim, and then they play better defense. Others play better defense, and it creates offense. So it was That's a positive sequence for Phillip. Well, how about Borovic in tonight? Ten points, eight rebounds, two steals, and one assist. Here's Martinez driving the lane, kick it right corner, and there's Lewis for three, and K.J. drains it. Another Lexus of Tucson charity three. Once again, K.J. Lewis having an impact on his game. Defensively, he's been spectacular. Offensively, he needs to see the ball go in, so that's a great example there for him. All right, Warriors with the ball and nearly lost it. Feed it out top. There's Marsh driving to the... Left elbow, he'll jump it off, rolls off, no good. Mesa with the rebound for the Wildcats. Outlet Martinez. Feet ahead, tried to go to Markowskis, tipped out by Marsh. And now, now we'll see the, uh, the walk-ons for the Wildcats. 